Pelle here today from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the VHS Skull Visualizer. I mean this must be probably like the 20th or like 15th Skull Visualizer tutorial I'm making now but uh, you know it's fun it looks super cool in my opinion and you guys always learn something new because I do different versions and now we're going to start with the tutorial. Okay so we're going to start off by making a new composition here pretty simple. I'm using a FHD with 24 FPS if you guys want to use the same settings for your composition. And now we're going to be making a solid layer. So you're going to right click, new, solid layer. And here we're going to be adding element 3D. And here we're going to be importing a 3D skull model which is going to be linked in the description. And now when you have imported it, it's going to look something like this. I'm going to change the orientation here to 90. So it's going to face us, the skull. After that go to presets, physical, choose chrome, looks clean. Press OK. After that, open up group 1, particle look. And here we're going to set the particle size to 90. And we're going to open up the particle rotation option here. And we're going to hold Alt and press the clock here on Y rotation. And here we're going to type time star key 140. It's going to be rotating here like this. You can adjust if you guys want the skull to be rotating faster or slower. You just have to increase or decrease the amount here after the timer. Then go down to render settings, in-bit occlusion, increase the SSO intensity to 40, enable AO of course. <laughs> After that, depending on how good computer you have, you can drag up the SSO samples. This basically makes your shadow quality better. Okay, after that we're going to be adding a colorama. Go to input phase, go to output cycle, here choose RGB, and then change the colors here. So the red one is going to be a lighter blue, and then this one here to white. You'll get something like this here. And to get the look you guys want, you're going to be opening up input phase and then here on phase shift you're going to change this up to something like this. And that's how our skull is going to look now. Now we're going to be adding a texture to the background and uh, if you guys have overlays or uh, some texture you think looks good on your PC, just drag it in, use it if you guys think it fits the visualizer. I'm going to be using an overlay from my TV Glitch Pack V2 and this pack is going to be linked in the description so you guys can go and check it out. So this is how the overlay looks, this is basically the 17th overlay if you guys have the pack. And uh, now to make this skull a little bit more interesting we're going to be adding Displacer Pro to it. Here. On map layer, choose the glitch overlay. Then on translate X and translate Y, you're going to put 7.5% there. And the edge behavior is going to be repeat. So this is the effect it's going to make. After that, add a deep low. Change the radius to 500. And then check on molt. And this is how it's going to look. Now you guys are going to be rendering this video out. Then you're going to be recording this visualizer on some form of screen or TV you have at home. I'm going to be using a CRT TV. You guys might have some old TV, some old screen or something. Plug that in and play this visualizer on it and record it. I think it's going to look pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys how I am recording this. So basically I have a CRT TV here set up. And to record this, I have a camcorder uh, camera here. The whole name of the camera is going to be on the screen now. And to this camera, I have a cafe card and a power bank. Also a SSD disk here. <laughs> it's a little crazy setup here, but uh, the result we're getting is pretty, pretty good here. So basically what I'm doing is uh, uh, making it centered, the skull here. And then I'm just going to press the record button here, just like that. And now it starts recording, you can see it up there. And then you just press play on your uh, computer. That's basically how I record this. If you guys don't have a, like a VHS camera that you can record with, we have a TV Glitch Pack V2. We have a VHS effect that would make your visualizer look pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. And I'm going to be showing you guys how it's going to look now. For this effect, you gotta turn off the deep low. And this is the look you're getting now uh, with this uh, effect. Looks pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. It has this like VHS glitchy style. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, check out the link in the description. The pack is for sale. And yeah, that was basically the tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys want to elevate your editing even more, feel free to check out our website with amazing editing packs that's really gonna take your editing to another level. And don't forget to check out our socials, join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and uh, have a nice day.